When I get old and I can't remember Won't you do the remembering for me And remind me of the love we made And the man I used to be When I get old and I can't see no more Won't you see the world fall on me And put my hand upon your face Let me trace our history Cause the sands of time keep falling My hourglass is running low With you here girl I don't mind getting old Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to Session 12 of Songwriter Sessions. Uh, we're here at uh, Digital Soccer Production Studio in Home, Louisiana, with Pershing Wells. Um, our special guest today, um, she really doesn't need a last name. We're just going to go with Mary Beth. <laughs> All right, but that Mary works. Beth Landry, we'll say that. <laughs> okay. okay. Welcome, yeah, Mary Beth. Thank you. All right. Glad great. to be here. Great. Well, you said you've seen a lot of the, of the tapes, so you, you kind of know how we do it. And um, so I always ask tough questions. This is a hard-hitting show now. This is tough. So um, if I was going to write your bio for this show, what's, what's your biography? What's, what do you want people to know? I want people to know that I'm just so blessed. Oh, okay. I am so blessed that I have the talent, you know, just to be able to sing. Yeah. And uh, pick up music easily and be able to perform with a lot of different folks in the area throughout the years you do get you know, to, many many yeah. different people and and jump in the recording studio with a few and right help right. them out and i just i just want to say i'm blessed yeah that's yeah. the bottom line oh, that is so cool and and what would you write for your bio of your music how would you describe your music where it's been where it's now and where it's going I'd say it's a big jambalaya. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> a, a mixture of soul and funk and blues. It is, um, yeah. Where did, it, of, where did it start? Where did it start? Where did the songwriting start? Yeah, or or your the music. Love of music. You love of music. Oh, I was five years old. Okay. Uh, I remember. We yeah. had the phonograph that you lift up. Oh, yeah. And I'd sit there the at the house and sing and harmonize with Glenn Campbell. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I was about five years old. And oh, it wow. just came to me. And my mom would tell my dad, look, she's harmonizing with her, you know? <laughs> and I loved it. And oh, they always so wanted cool. me to sing for everybody who came around, but I was oh, shy. Okay. I didn't yeah. I didn't like to do it too much yeah. like that, but I grew that. And when did the writing start? I wrote some songs in the 80s, but I, I never really showed them to anybody. Right, right. But I'd say in the late 90s, when I retired from working full time right. after, you know, raising right. children and working, okay. I had time to do it, right. and I had a lot more time to think, and that's when I wrote 11 songs for my first CD. Oh, straight. You wrote the whole thing. I right wrote out. every song on there, yeah. Wow. So, you know, you have grandchildren. I have a one grandchild. I have one. Cool. Oh, one. Me one too. One little girl. Like one you. little girl. All right. <laughs> um, what would you want them to to uh, remember about your songs? That I'm a pretty nostalgic person, and um, I'm I'm old at heart. You know, I'm getting older too. But <laughs> I, I consider <laughs> You're an old soul. I consider myself an old soul. Yeah, I love that's vintage. Cool. I love Me too. memories. I'm I'm a very sentimental person. Right. Right. And the songs that I do write that I like the most and that come easier to me are the ones that contain uh, personal memories in my life. Definite, yeah. You know, my loved ones. Right. Something that made, may have made me laugh real, really hard one day or something that made me really sad one right, day. Right. That it's more like a release. It is. It's, it's mm -hmm. therapy, just it like is. any other art. You know, music yeah. is therapy. And I can say that it helps me a lot yeah. in my life. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember, and this was some years back, we were uh, uh, producing the farmer's market down at, in uh, Courthouse Square, and we asked you to come sing. I remember that. And then I asked you to tell the stories of those songs. Mm -hmm. And I think you were a little surprised. And, yeah. uh, but, I mean, your songs and your stories grabbed me back then. Well, you know, it, it's a personal thing. Yeah. Um, if, if someone's singing a song, you're like, well, 
Or are they singing about themselves? Right, It, it right. makes them wonder. Yeah. So yeah. is it easier for you to perform covers or perform your own songs? What's easier? Covers. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, songwriting does not come very easy to no. me. No. It's um, hard. It, it's yeah. hard. And, and it's personal. So if you're singing your own, you're really opening yourself up to people. You are. You yeah. are. It's very personal. Yeah. But I, I think people like to hear the stories sure. behind the songs. Sure. So I'm really pumped for the song you're going to do today. Okay. So I want to hear the story behind the it. The story behind Callie's Eyes. Well, Callie is my little granddaughter. She was three at the time when I wrote the song. And um, she was playing out in the field with us. Cl big field of clovers. It's the same field my children used to play oh, in. Wow. I even wrote a poem about that yeah. back in the day. Right. But... Um, she started singing, um, swing low, sweet chariot, <laughs> in the field of flowers. Oh, my Lord. Because at I three, would always. At three years old. I, oh, yes. I always sing to her. And right, that was right. one of our songs when I would swing her. And I don't know. It just it just hit me. Callie's yeah, eyes are yeah. big and wide. And, yeah, you know, and yeah. we. It all was because of that day that yeah. we, we were playing with her in the field, and, my husband and, and, and I. And the, the music, the melody just is gripping. I mean, where did you get that? It just came at that time? I, like I said, I'm a nostalgic person, and the way that Pershing arranged the music for right, me, right. It, it it sounds like flutes, and it's... It, yeah. So That's so you, how it came about. You actually recorded that here with Pershing. I did. And uh, what we're going to do today is a little uh, different. He's going to play that track, and okay. you're going to sing it live for us here in the studio. That sounds wonderful. So I'm going to get off camera, and okay. we'll rearrange, and then we'll, we'll, we'll let everybody hear that song. Can't wait. That's good. A flaming heart, head full of curls, swaying with me soft and low. In my heart, she'll always go. Her innocence just strikes me so. Her temper flares when time to go. Sweet as sugar on her tongue, she'll forever keep me young. Kelly's eyes are big and wide, dark as chest.
Mary Beth, I can tell you the first time I heard that song, a person had posted a video of it, and that song just blew me away. And oh, wow. it did again today. It is beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. And uh, that Thank song you. needs that to get so out there into the world and, and, yeah. and let people enjoy it. That's what it's all about. Um, before we wrap up, uh, is it, uh, would you want to tell people where they could find your music and how to contact sure. you and all that good stuff? Sure. Um, cdbaby.com under my name, Mary Beth Landry, is where my first CD is, and you can even click on it and hear a few tracks. Um, my next CD will probably also be on CD Baby, and people will be able to buy my music on iTunes. Wonderful. Great. All right. Well, thanks for coming. Thank you. Uh, I want to thank everybody out there in the studio okay. audience. Uh, this is session 12, and um, don't forget to sub hit that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you would get notified of future shows. And with that, um, we're gonna Persian's gonna play a little bit more of, of Mary Beth's song, and uh, we'll roll the outtakes. <laughs>